Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you 5 websites where you can get free PBR materials for your next render. So to start, let's go to our web browser. And the first website I want to talk about is polygon.com. So let's go to the website and if you have an account, you can log in. And if you don't have an account, you can sign in of course. We will go to the free category then we have all the assets that polygon has to offer for free like half of them are materials and the other half are assets of course you can use that as well because it's free but uh, we're gonna focus on the materials in this video we can go to filler we can go to asset type and we want to go to textures and now we, you can see we have uh, 56 assets uh, that we can use for free there are a lot there is of every category you can think of there is at least one material so there is a, a metal there is some brick there is a tile there is some so let's say we want to have let's get this slate black square texture because it also says it's a 4k resolution so we're going to select this one and we would like to have the 4k indeed we want to have the not metallic but the specular workflow and that means we will get normal displacement and diffuse these are the six maps that we're going to need let's press on the download button and it's going to download our material let's uh, give it a place for example in my map with materials let's say this is going to be the files and i'm gonna put this one over here um file and let's extract this one extract here and now we can import all these files into lumion so now let's uh, import them into one of our projects uh, this is a recent project of mine of uh, kitchen render but let's import the material that we just uh, downloaded into this project so for this one i want to go to standard i want to go to settings and i want to change all these maps that we downloaded let's go to the map exactly over here and let's for the texture of course put in the color map for this one we need the normal map so let's go and change the normal map to our normal map let's go for the roughness for the roughness we need the glass map and then order for the reflectivity we need of course the reflectivity map so let's import that as well let's put the values up to 100 and also let's go to the displacement map and let's put in our displacement map to give the texture a little bit more depth of course you can change the sliders if you want but i kind of keep them at the default state and let's see how the material looks from polygon in this render so for the next one second one and it's going to be quicksol yeah and you probably have I have talked a lot about Quixel in past videos, but in this video I want to show you what Quixel has to offer for all the materials. So let's go to products, let's go to uh, let's go to the browse mega scans. And Quixel has everything to offer from 3D assets to surfaces and decals, but we are going to look at the surfaces in this video. And Quixel has like a ton of free materials right now but they are mostly based for exteriors or nature uh, for this video and for now i want to go to the marble and let's try to find a marble material for our counter chart i want to use this one and i don't want to do 8k so to download with some ma materials we want to have 4k let's download and let's put it again in a folder let's put all the folders inside of here oh and now let's import this into lumion but back into lumion we can select our countertop and let's go to the material let's go to the standard and then let's overwrite all these materials so over here let's go to our map that we created and then where we have imported our materials and now select all of the files all of the uh, maps that we need and now we have our texture we can put it on imported scale but i don't like the orientation so i'm gonna put it see if i can find the right scale it's going to be about 1 meter 50 so we can have like 150 that's perfect and now let's see how one of the material from quicksand look looks For number three, the website I want to show you is an interesting one because it's going to be the Substance 3D. I 
to Substance 3D, we want to go to the Substance 3D Assets and we want to sign in. And after we have signed in, we can go to our the assets that Adobe uh, Substance 3D has to offer. So let's go to free assets. And as you can see, there are some 3D assets. There are some materials that you can, that you can select. But we want, of course, the materials. And if we want to select materials, you can see that there are over a hundred free uh, materials that you can use. But there is a slight, a slight problem. Substance 3D has um, not the standard bitmaps that you can download. So for example, if I want to have this fabric, I need to go over here. And you will see that there are only two options. This is the SBSR material or the SBS but we can fix this with the, because there is a simple workaround for this one we need to go to a substance player the substance player is a free app that you can download so let's download it for me it's windows and because i have already downloaded i can just go and find my substance player and this is how it looks of course you see that there is not a material selected yet but we can download one right now. So let's go back to our Substance 3D assets and let's find a material that we are going to use for our render. Let's go with this steel polished material. Let's download this one. Let's give it a place to download and let's put it open there. Now when we open the Substance player, we can open one of the materials that we just downloaded. Let's give it a metal. And let's open the substance archive because this is only the, this is the only way to open the material so let's open it and as you can see here is that material that we downloaded uh, you can see the activity you can see which parts are really rough and which ones are really reflective and it's a really powerful way to create materials and the beautiful part about this is as well that we can select over here how big the maps needs to be this is for the handle so i want to have it 2k so you can make really unique and even multiple materials from the same material you can even adjust some sliders over here as you can see so we can have a steel variation in the roughness and after you are satisfied with material you can go to the export as bitmap and here you can use uh, the, the part where you want to use it the pattern name but we don't want to use all the outputs. We only need the base color to diffuse. We only need the base color. We need the roughness. We need metallic, of course, height. We don't need the ambient occlusion. So let's put it on in the metal. And then we need to change the format. And I would like to have a PNG. Oh, let's, let's go to Lumion and import all the bitmaps that we just created. So back into Lumion, we want to add the material, the meta material that we just downloaded onto our handles. So let's do that right now. Let's go up to the materials, let's go to the standard. And now let's import all of the maps that we need. And now let's change the sliders after we have imported all our files. And now after that, we can see how the handles look. But even though Substance 3D has a lot of materials to offer, there is even more. Because after you have signed in, you can actually go to the Substance. We can find it on the Substance Community Assets. Let's go to the Substance 3D Community Assets. Because not only does uh, Substance 3D have their own assets, but also a whole community that creates materials and also assets. And there is a whole uh, library of materials that you just can download made by other people. And these are also all free to download. So for the fourth one, I want to talk about textures.com. So let's type in textures.com. And textures.com, if you have a website, of course, you can sign in again. And after you have signed in, you can create a free account or free, you can sign up for free. What you can do is, uh, of course, we can select the free and then you will see all the assets that are free over here you will see the resolution and you will, can see if it's seamless and you can also see if it's compatible for what i just showed you with the substance player that you can actually import this material and you can adjust the settings but as you can see there are a lot of free assets there are even some 3d models some plans um but 
there is not a lot of materials let's be for real but because you have the 15 credits that you can get every day single day you can go to again to the materials and let's say for example to the brick and i would like to have this brick material um we can download it for substance player, uh, player but what we can do is we can download um, the material but only at a low resolution for 1k but there are ways to uh, increase the resolution but there are also uh, moments that you probably don't need a really high resolution texture and uh, because all the materials are available at least for 1k some might be even 2k for free but uh, it really depends on what material. So let's search one for our uh, project. Let's go to the free one. And let's see. Let's say that we want to use this one for our cabinets. So let's download our, the substance material from here. Let's put it in the product folder. And then import it into Lumion. Now let's import it into Lumion and see how it looks. Now that we have imported all the files, let's see how this material looks in Lumion. And the last website I want to talk about, the fifth one, is going to be freebrmaterials.com. This is a like a small website and it has about plus 500 free uh, PBR textures. They have like for everything they have some materials for example they have a lot for metals rock and stone but um they also have some for the walls or um some wools and there is just something from everything and uh what you can do is of course you download them uh, one by one and uh, make sure if you for example have a certain material that you want to have all the materials are going to be pngs and there are about 2k so we can't change the resolution over here but i still want to put them out there because that's why it's the number five and um, because it has some potential and there are some materials that uh, i find useful for us we don't need the unreal engine in the unity mod file we need the bl file because that's our, our just separate maps that we need so let's download this file and um, we have an ambient occlusion but we don't need that map because Lumion doesn't provide that one and we have a metal one uh, we have a roughness one as you can see we don't have a reflectivity but the reflectivity we can change that also based on the roughness so that's fine and now let's import these material this material again into Lumion so after we downloaded our files we can import them into Lumion again doing the exact same thing that we did by the last materials let's select the material let's go to standard and let's import all the files and after that let's see how they look i know it's hard sometimes to find the right material but i hope you know where to search now hopefully you learned something new and if you enjoyed the video leave a like comment and consider subscribing it helps me a lot and i hopefully see you guys in the next video bye